Doug with the Escala here at Fabtech uh, at the Servo Robot booth. And so I'm here with Christopher. He is the sales and application engineer. And uh, we've been a long time partner with you guys. We use you guys quite a bit on uh, welding applications for their sensor. And so Christopher is gonna take you through the iCube technology. Thanks, Doug. So what we have here at this demonstration is actually we're showcasing our new camera called the iCube T. This is a, uh, a, 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 a a successor to the uh, iCube sensor that you guys are already very very familiar with and that has proven success in the industry. Uh, this is adding um, higher processing power, speed, uh, all those functions as well as you know tagging into all the additional the existing functions that we already have with ASFM, scene finding, all of those as well. Uh, so this specific demonstration here we're demonstrating what we're calling uh, DLS, dynamic line search. This is where it's a it's a seam finding without stopping the camera. Uh, we're also showcasing our um, center of circle ASFM function. That's Both of these are, are functions within the ASFM software uh, kind of macro library. Um, lots of multi-purpose um, and it's just a great way to highlight what the power that the, having access to the server robot suite of systems uh, can, can bring to your technology. Of course, uh, you know, this is a uh, line, 3D uh, line laser sensor. So with one acquisition, we can locate positions in X, Y, and Z, as well as things such as gap and mismatch. Very powerful, very useful. Uh, it allows you to do things such as adaptive welding, as well as just finding and adapting to the actual position. Um, of course, this, this robot was provided courtesy of Yaskawa at Fabtech, and we very much appreciate that. Uh, I also want to highlight, take a moment to highlight the teach pendant HMI the server robot has available for Yaskawa systems. This allows you to uh, mute, unmute, uh, edit tasks, and uh, generally see what's going on with the sensor on the teach pendant. You don't need to have a, a PC mm, to access and connect while you're troubleshooting and setting up. So this is the center of circle ASFM function within the server robot suite of technology. So what it's doing is with three acquisitions, we can find the location and orientation of this circle. And then we can, of course, use that to in our, in our uh, program to uh, adjust our, our pre-existing welding path uh, to quickly locate this, um, uh, this, this port on a tank or nozzle or really any type of options. You know, it's, it's, it's a very um, powerful feature to have available um, in your uh, varying applications. And then our second demonstration over here on the left, that's what uh, is the, uh, what we're calling the DLS, Dynamic Line Search. That is essentially being able to make search acquisitions uh, on the fly with the camera, as opposed to having to stop uh, for each individual acquisition, which of course reduces cycle time, which is an important metric for all of our, any application. So it, you start off by seam finding, and then you move into while you're welding, seam tracking, correct? Not with this camera. With the IQT, okay. this is specifically just uh, seam tracking. Okay. Or seam finding, I'm sorry. Seam finding, Seam finding okay. prior to the welding process. Okay. Yes. Gotcha. Uh, any seam tracking would be done using uh, the PowerCam E uh, in the Escawa system. Uh, that's where we're making acquisitions uh, during the welding process. We can actually dynamically adjust positions uh, during the welding process, as well as any type of adaptive welding features or functions that you would like available. Okay. Excellent. Well, thank you for that quick rundown. Really appreciate it.